The Otoscope testing platform is a new genetic test that we developed here for genetic diagnosis of hearing loss. One in 500 children is born with hearing loss, and by the time we are 80, half of us will require hearing aids or amplification for effective communication, and, and certainly in a large percentage of those cases, the loss is going to have genetic components to it. When you test each gene one by one, it costs up to $1,500 per gene, and it takes two to three months to, uh, to get a result. And, and so if you were to screen all 70 of the genes, it would be enormously expensive. So Otoscope uses new massively parallel sequencing technologies, and it screens all the known deafness genes at once at a cost of $1,500 and a turnaround time of three months. So it does in uh, the same amount of time and the same cost as one gene, it sequences all the known deafness genes at the same time. Is that it prevents unnecessary medical tests. So if I know your cause of hearing loss is gene X, then I don't need to get a CT scan, I don't need to get an EKG, I don't get, need to get a urinalysis. There's a whole series of tests that are uh, rendered unnecessary, and so then that can actually bring down the cost of healthcare and the cost of diagnosing a cause of hearing loss. And using the results from the otoscope test, we can tell patients and their physicians whether, um, whether the hearing aids would be best or whether cochlear implants would be best for the type of hearing loss that they have. But also So we have a, a hearing meeting uh, where we meet and we discuss those results. And so we have a clinical review where we'll uh, review the clinical information that's sent by the healthcare provider that will discuss uh, whether there's a family history of hearing loss, uh, whether there's any other features, what type of hearing loss, and then we'll review the results that we found with the otoscope test, and then we'll uh, be able to try to correlate um, and see if those genetic variants that we found make sense with the type of hearing loss uh, that the, the patient has. It, it actually provides for some families a sense of closure because you determine actually the cause of hearing loss if that was unknown. And once you determine and identify a cause of hearing loss, the person with that specific cause of hearing loss is then placed in a category of everybody else in the world with the same genetic cause of hearing loss. So if you were 10 and you had hearing loss, and I could tell you the exact genetic cause, then I can also tell you what your hearing is going to be like when you're 20, when you're 30, when you're 40. So I can tell you what the future holds for you in terms of your hearing loss by actually comparing your data to data from other people around the world with the same genetic cause of hearing loss.